uh, making the mix. What you need is some potassium nitrate, known as KNO3 and salt P2. Well, the fertilizer, stump remover, there's quite a few things you can use it for. Uh, I bought this off eBay. You can buy it from garden shops and places as well. And uh, you need some ordinary household sugar, like icing sugar or something. If you want to get technical, its uh, formula name is C12H22O11. And uh, well, basically, what you need to do is mix them two together. But what we realised is if you just mix the two together and you don't do it very well, it doesn't seem to burn as fast. So we've got a good, we've got a little coffee grinder. Uh, which basically makes it into talcum powder and we've found out that it works absolutely brilliantly so in here I've put six spoons of potassium nitrate to four spoons of sugar and uh, I'll just whisk that up that's all we need and then uh, that makes the mix but as you can see that is really fine clumping together, it's a bit like talcum powder it's really really fine and uh, what you need to do is put that into a sealed bag because it absorbs moisture over time so you buy these at you know, places like Asda yeah, just like where you'd normally go for your shopping and that just put that in there and then obviously fill up the bag until you're ready to use it. Um, you can actually normally light it with a normal lighter but it takes a couple of seconds to ignite it because it doesn't really ignite very fast. Or you can make some potassium nitrate and sugar fuses which I've already made a tutorial for and uh, that's what they look like, just pieces of tissue paper soaked in potassium nitrate and sugar and uh, that sets it up quite nicely. Right, uh, how to make the rocket. Basically what you need is some a piece of 25mm electrical conduit. That's about 7 or 8 centimetres long, something like that. Bentonite, which is well well known as uh, cat, cat litter. Um, that's it, well this is uh, plastic by the way, just to let you know. If it was metal it would be too heavy and probably wouldn't take off. So. And also, you need a bar to smack it down with, that needs to fit snugly in there. And a hammer. Uh, you could also use a guide, but that that will be in the next part. So, what you need to do is get some cat litter, make sure it's against the fallout the fall bottom. Just fill it up. Not all the way, just a little bit. And then smack it down as hard as you can with a hammer. And now, just gently take it out, put your put some there, and measure how much you've done. There's not too much in there so you need to put in a bit more until it gets about one and a half centimetres up, something like that. And just keep doing that until you get to about one and a half centimetres up. This will act as a, a plug for your rocket. And yeah, I'll just say that'll do. Now what you need to do is now you've got your plug, you get the mix that you've made earlier. Open it up and uh, basically just put that in the well put the mix into the rocket. Don't put all the mix in at once, you need to put it in a little little parts at a time and then hammer it down as you go. And uh, you really, really need to hammer it down otherwise. Otherwise it'll build up pressure too fast and uh more than likely explode halfway up in the air. As you saw as you might saw in our uh, previous video and uh, so you just keep hammering that down until it gets to about one and a half centimetres up the top now I wouldn't put your head over the top of the bar that you're doing this with because in case it does ignite for some unknown reason then uh, obviously the bar will come shooting back out which is not good as you probably guessed um, six spoonfuls and four spoonfuls of sugar. That, um, that that's about enough mix for about enough mix for one rocket. Sorry, one and a half rocket. But 
and just keep going until we get to about the right point. There you go, that's about, that's about right there. Now you need to fill up your bag again, and then basically just put some more cat litter in. Cat litter in until you get it level with the top. That will act as your plug for the other end as well. So just hammer it down as hard as you can. And when you're making the mix, it's well worth doing it properly, because otherwise you won't get as, as good results as we found out. So keep keep hammering that down until it's about almost level. See, a little bit more. There you go, that's one rocket, nearly done. Just go drill the hole. Right, now I'm going to show you how to uh, drill the rocket, because you need to make a hole through the middle, down to the bottom, cat litter plug, don't go all the way through, otherwise it won't work. Um, you can just normally, you can just get a drill, and drill down normally, but we've machined a, uh, well, a guide that you slide over it and then you put the drill down and it gets it well, about perfect so it goes straight up um, so you need to get your drill with about a 6mm drill bit and uh, pull the drill bit back until it gets level so the end of the drill is level with the uh, bottom cat litter plug and then you can start drilling down but because we got this that's about right there. Right, now what you want to do, start drilling down. Can be a bit of a pig, but as soon as you feel it go past the cat litter, stop. Because you need to get the cat litter off it, because otherwise it will build up heat and it can start it off. Um, which again is not good. So you need a screwdriver of some sort, this is a, uh, I think it's a centre punch, and just scrape it off, just scrape it all off the drill until it comes off, and then you can carry on. And then, yeah. It can take a couple of minutes because it's really hard and it won't, doesn't want to come off. There you go, that's about all off. And now you just need to drill all the way down until it hits about there. stop every so often and uh, try and clean it out because uh, yeah, it will build up pr uh, the temperature again and get some more of this stuff off um, what I have found is if you put a lighter to it it seems to burn it and then it comes off a lot easier because it, it's obviously um, the rocket mix is actually on the drill bit and if you burn it then it will obviously come off it burn itself off. Um, can be more fun. <laughs> a better way of doing it, but since I'm in a garage, I ain't going to do it in here. Because I heard that the smoke that comes off it is not very good for you. So don't breathe in it. So if I were you, I'd use a mains drill because that's just a 18 volt battery drill. I don't seem to like it that much. <laughs> 